Hi everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to make this cute barefoot sandal. Um, I've made one already, the video is up if you want to see that one as well. This is very easy to make and very quick as well. Um, you'll need a double knitting yarn, something to cut your yarn with and a 3mm crochet hook. We'll start with a magic ring. and chain one and we'll be placing eight half double crochets into that magic ring. When you've made your eight, pull the tail to secure it to close the magic ring and make a slip stitch into the top of the first stitch. You can count back your stitches if you're not sure which one it is. In row two we'll be making petals in each stitch around. We will start with chain two and we'll be making in the same stitch three partially made um, double crochets so we'll start them yarn over insert your hook into the stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops on your hook now you have two loops and do that again yarn over go into the stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops on your hook now you'll have three stitches three loops sorry yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops now you will have four loops on your hook yarn over pull through all four loops on your hook and that's your petal close it with a chain and then chain two and we'll do the same into the next stitch but we'll do four partially made uh, double crochets right into the next stitch we will yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through two do that three more times until you have five loops on your hook one two three four five yarn over pull through all five loops on your hook chain one to close it and then chain two for the gap and repeat that around four partially made double crochets chain one to close the petal and then chain two for the gap in between and when you finish this round you will have eight petals I finished my eight petals with chain two now we're going to slip stitch into that stitch right on top of the first petal Round three is a single crochet round. Start with chain one and place two single crochets into that same stitch on top of the petal. That's one and two. And then three single crochets into the gap in between the petals. And you'll repeat that all the way around. Two single crochets in the stitch on top of the petal and then three single crochets in between in the big gap and you will have 40 single crochets for this round. Finishing round three and then we'll be slip stitching into the top of the first stitch of the round. And round four is the last round. I will do it with you. 
we will start with chain one and then single crochet into the same stitch half double crochet into the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch then treble crochet into the next stitch then chain 2 treble crochet into the next stitch each stitch goes into its own stitch double crochet into the next stitch then half double crochet into the next stitch then four single crochets one in each stitch and this will be the middle of the top part of the sandal so that's one two three and four and we'll do exactly the same as this side this corner we'll do again half double crochet in the next stitch double crochet in the next stitch treble crochet chain two treble crochet again each stitch goes into its own stitch then double crochet half double crochet and then single crochet then it's seven slip stitches so one slip stitch in each of the next seven stitches it's one two three four five six seven then we're making the last corner start with a single crochet then half double crochet double crochet treble crochet chain two treble crochet double crochet sorry half double crochet and single crochet and then we'll repeat uh, you should have seven stitches left so we'll be making a slip stitch in each of the next seven stitches Then slip stitch into the top of the first stitch of the round and then that's it. Pull your yarn through and cut yourself a little tail to weave in at the back. Now we'll be making the toe loop. So start take your yarn and start with a slip knot and then insert your hook, put your loop on your hook and then make a slip stitch to attach it to the piece. Then I'm going to chain 20 
but you can make it as long or as short as you want, depending where you want the piece to be placed on your foot. Um, and when you finish the chain, just attach it back down to the same stitch with a slip stitch. Pull your yarn through the loop and then cut yourself a little tail and then we'll be tying it with the tail from the beginning of the um, chain. Just pull it to the back of the piece tie those two tails together and you can cut it off. Of course you can um, sew the ends in if you want but I just cut them off they're not going to come loose. Now we'll be making the straps. So we'll be attaching it the same way that we did with the um, toe loop with a slip knot and then insert your hook put your yarn on and attach with a slip stitch and then I'm going to chain 120 but again you can make it as long or as short as you want and when you're finished you just pull your tail through the last loop and cut yourself a short tail and I'm just going to leave it like that I'm just going to pull it tight to make sure it's secure and that's it. Just going to tie that tail to the chain and then we can cut the tail off. Just do a double or a triple knot, just a simple one, just to make sure it's not going to go anywhere. And then you can cut the tail off and that's that done. And then make another strap exactly the same on the last corner. And when you are done, we can sort those little tails. I'm just going to weave it through a few stitches back down to the middle. And then I'm going to tie the two tails together and cut the yarn off. And then make your second one. And that's it. Look how cute they are. So I'm just going to show you how I tie it on my leg. You put the loop on your toe next to the big toe and I take it under the bones on the side just to help it hold better and I wrap it round twice and then I tie it at the back like shoelaces. And then the same with the other one. that's it. Super cute, super easy and super fast to make. I also made ones in black matching my pumps so it's like a part of the shoe. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.